mentioned in this press conference, apart from Minister Karnataka, by also the Minister of State for Women and Child Development, Mahindra Bhai Munchpara, and Secretary, Government of India, Women and Child Development Ministry, I am happy to share that the Honorable Prime Minister blessed the announcements of three missions particularly dedicated to women and children in our country. The first mission I speak of is Mission Portion 2.0. This is an amalgamated effort of 18 ministries across Government of India. Under this project, we hope to service and strengthen services across approximately 14 lakh Angan bodies in the country. For the first time in the history of our nation, Angan bodies are now equipped with smart devices, not only by smart devices, but also for the first time under the Prime Minister's flagship scheme. 11 and a half lakh Anganwadis now also have growth monitoring devices. We are happy to share with you that over 9 crore beneficiaries, women and children now fall under the ambit of this ambitious national plan. The Prime Minister was more than desirous that the nutritional needs of women and children become a national concern and a janandulan. I am happy to share on behalf of the ministry that over 40 crore grassroots ground interventions, events, programs for creating awareness around the issue of nutrition has been conducted by the government of India in collaboration with state governments. At the onset, I would like to thank the state government of Karnataka for being kind enough to host the first ever zonal meeting of all South Indian state government representatives and stakeholders from across the country with regards to interventions and efforts of the Ministry of Women and Child Development. As you all know, the Honorable Prime Minister has necessitated the country's desire to put women first. For many years in our country, we have spoken of female emancipation. But the Honorable Prime Minister is of the opinion that if we want India to grow and be strengthened as a nation, we need to ensure women-led development. 